What is up YouTube? This is Taylor Moss here from Everything Under the Sun and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to adjust uh, the aperture or blur backgrounds of uh, photographs in Photoshop after you have already taken them. So we'll just go over to Google Images here real quick and try and find a picture for us to work with. I'll just type landscape. Uh, I'm going to try and find a full HD one. See if I can't find a good one. Mm. All right, we, uh, that one looks good. It's got a item in the front that's uh, pretty clear, and then you got the stuff in the back that you'd want to blur out. So uh, we'll just save this to the desktop real quick, and pop over to Photoshop. Uh, file open, and let's go to the desktop, and we'll find it. And all right. So uh, first thing you need to do is double click on the background layer to unlock it so you can edit it. Uh, the next thing we're going to want to do is uh, click and hold here and go to the polygonal lasso tool. And then what you want to do is you want to um, select the thing that you want as your focal point. Um, it doesn't matter to get in all those cracks and everything like that. Uh, you're just getting a rough outline of what you're trying to get here. Um, Polygonal tool is probably the best to do unless you're getting a perfect shape like a circle or a square or something like that. And just get as close as you possibly can. And there. Next thing you'll need to do is right click and select an inverse. So you're selecting everything but the object. And then you'll want to feather the selection uh, probably 15 pixels or so. Uh, then if you go up to filter, blur Gaussian blur uh, you can turn up the amount and you can see it blurring in the background there and uh, you get to the aperture you think probably looks best right around there click and then you click off and you can there you go you can see the, the stuff right up here in the beginning has some is really clear and nice and um, this picture is kind of weird because there's a lot of little spiky things but if it's just a person or something like that it's a lot easier to trace like right around them instead of doing a really big just <laughs> blocky chunk type scenario like I did and yeah that's basically all you need to know to um, turn up the aperture or blur photos uh, in the background after you've taken them in Photoshop thanks